Hi friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Joining you today as the guest designer for Altenew this month and creating with a fabulous Floral Frames Creativity Kit. And a fabulous indeed. Just look at that stamp. It's got some gorgeous coordinating dies with it. We've got that permanent black ink and those beautiful watercolours. And of course those flourishes in the gold as well. So lots of lovely things to play with. And as you can see I had some leaves already pre-done from my previous project. And I'm just coming in with the gorgeous frayed leaf colour, first of all, on those stamped rose images. And just adding a little bit of that green in and around those buds as well. So just some really gorgeous simple watercolour work there. And to add a little depth, I do include a little bit of the Forest Glades colour as well. So just there we go, you can see, just setting that depth then where we need that little bit of shadow and background. I find when it comes to doing a little bit of tonal work, it's always best to start light and add more colour as you go. Um, it just, you know, it's always easier to add more paint than to try and take it away. So yeah, that's my logic there. And this colour is called Grapevine and it's quite a brown tone to it, like a burgundy kind of red. It's actually really, really pretty. You can see it's quite dark to begin with. And I always start in the centres and get lighter as I come out because, of course, in the centres where you see all the depth and shadow, and of course towards the edges it does lighten out where the light would be more visible. So a really simple way to, um, if you're not familiar with perhaps doing tonal work, to start with so it's kept simple and easy and looks effective. And then you can start adding more of that shadow in as you go. So very, very pretty. I do block my work a little. Um, sometimes I have too much water come out my brush or, yeah, just too much colour. You can see it. It's beautiful colours. So we're looking really lovely. Now I need to do the orchids now. And I'm picking out the colour called Caribbean Sky. And it's it's a lovely soft purpley grey colour. Um, but as I start to put it on, I realise it's probably a little softer than I wanted. So I do come in with a bit more depth after as well. But as I said, always good to start light. You can always add more paint. It's harder to take it away. So yeah, just going through and painting them all up. And I think I do too and then decide to come in with the extra purple. Yeah, so already diving in now with deep iris and a little bit of midnight violet as well. So the deep iris has got that lovely warm purple tone on it. Very pretty. And there we go. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous stamped images. And now, of course, we've got the coordinating dies that go with this set, the fabulous frame dies. So I'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine so that way I don't have to fussy cut for hours. And look at that. How gorgeous. Aren't they super pretty? I use the same technique to do the leaves, except, of course, I did that on my previous previous video so they're already pre-made so that was handy some white cardstock i've got that gorgeous golden flourish friendstone piece there as well there's my sweet girl and her beautiful photograph and i'm just going to play with my design now and see how i think it might sort of pan out on my page so i'm using the flourish as the base point for my photo to anchor it and then coming in with some of those trimmed or cut pieces from my previous project and those gorgeous florals. So almost like the letter C design, quite simple, just, um, I mean, it is a fabulous floral frame, so really framing my photograph again with these delightful stamped images. Super simple, really pretty, and there's like a million different ways you could use this stamp and, and die set, absolutely gorgeous. And then the watercolors just give us so much possibility as well. So. I think it's a set that I'll continue to use time and time again and still don't have the same result because there's so many poss creative possibilities with this kit. Um, not sure if I need that extra piece there, but you can see sort of where my design is headed. And yeah, so I've decided to go around the base, the circular shape, and I just used an old picnic bowl because it was the right size circle. And I'm using that beautiful blue color be called, uh, I think it's Ocean Waves that I'm using. And now I'm coming in with Mountain Mist and just using all those lovely blue huey tones and, and really making the most of them. They're just gorgeous. So lots of circular work, really simple and beautiful, and then lots of splatters to go as well. And you'll see I switched brushes and that's not because I didn't like the other brush. It's just the other brush is very, very fine pointed and it was going to take me a long time to paint. And I just wanted to get the paint on fast. So bigger brush tip 
was the only reason I switched brushes. Um, but that finer point brush that comes in the, the watercolour pan set is perfect because it's um, ideal for painting inside those smaller stamped images and it's just the right size. So anyway, gluing everything down now because I'm quite happy with how that's looking. So nothing really tricky here, just really simple and beautiful. And I think, you know, when you've got a lovely photograph that does most of the story for you, you, you just want to embellish the photo. You don't need to have a an overly busy page. And this is just such a lovely, pretty girly page, I think. It's just beautiful for my girl. So yeah, simple and easy. The kind of creating I like because you can recreate this in minutes once you know what you're doing. And really, the, the time I spent on it was really just in painting. So it was pretty relaxing and fun to do as well. And there we go. Just a little more tape to hold things down. Bit of foam tape on that piece and I decided to put it over the fenstone piece rather than tucked underneath in my original plan. I like how this is looking and I want to come in and add some stamping now so in with that gorgeous permanent black and I'm going to use the hello sentiment. And I'm going to use that three times around my circular design. Hello hello hello. Yeah put it on. <laughs> there we go. So looking very sweet and a toss up should I make it five but I think three was just the right number so coming in with some other stamps now and this time I'm stamping some other sentiments onto a piece of paper first and this is why I'll show you one says have a beautiful day the other one says you amaze me and what I actually want my title to be is beautiful you so because I don't have beautiful you in the actual stamps, I'm going to fussy cut these ones up so that they will work perfectly for my title. So even though a stamp has a sentiment, you can always, you can always cut it up and make something wonderful from it. So there we go, look at that. Beautiful you, what a perfect title piece. And because they're the bigger font words in those sentiments, they really do stand out quite lovely as well. So yeah, look, nothing tricky there. It probably took me a minute to fussy cut. It wasn't long. There we go. So you can maximise your stance as well. You don't have to just stick to the phrases that they've given you. But yeah, making the most out of them. What a clever way to get a better title or a title that suits your story better. Yeah. Look at that. And I do feel like it needs just a little more of that stamp work now. And I'm going to come in with those gorgeous, they almost look like little rosebuds or berries. They're like lots of little scattery circles. And I'm just going to pop them around more on the left side of my photograph because I've got lots of splash on the right. And I just want to highlight that side as well. So I'm going to come around with them now and fill up around that area like so. Beautiful. So you can see it's a really versatile stamp that really does offer so many possibilities and it's just gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> I feel very lucky to have been a guest designer this month for Altenu. So thank you so much for having me, Altenu. It's been amazing. I really, the stamps are just exquisite. Everything always works beautifully. There we go. So well coordinated. And just with the last stamp there, there we go. Look at that beautiful you. What a gorgeous layout. Lots of pictures coming up for you now, close ups and whatnot. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you've got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to pop them down as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful, happy, arty days. Bye.